guys, welcome back. We are back with another TK Maxx haul. What? So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since we've done one, but so this is stuff we've accumulated probably since last July. Last July, really? you know. Because we haven't been like spending lots, but every time we go in, if we see something really good, we try and pick it up. This is a couple of months worth of stuff that we've collected. Yeah. So we um, have saved, not more than we did last time, but quite a substantial amount again when you think about it. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how much that was. And let's, let's get, get into going. it. Yeah. This might be the best find for me anyway, because I've wanted to try this brand out for so long, but and it's it just been up. a bit too out of my price range. But it just ended up but being just, in there. I walked just... in. I basically go in every day on my lunch break, <laughs> um, just to check. I don't buy every day, hmm. but <laughs> this baby, drunk elephant, best jelly cleanser. <sighs> so it's it's great. It does dry my skin out, um, especially in the cold months. I think in summer it would be wonderful. Um, and you've got to make sure you take pretty much all of your makeup off before you use it because it won't, yeah, it's it doesn't not, take off your makeup. not completely, no, especially eye makeup, it's not that great for taking off eye makeup, oh, but, <laughs> but I don't get breakouts with it, like any sort of breakout when I use it, but it doesn't saying take off that, your makeup. no, saying that, Sukin, yeah, I don't get breakouts with Sukin, that's a whole nut beauty, yeah, we'll do that, um, yeah, so this is good. It hasn't got bad ingredients in it, but there's still stuff in it that I'm like, why is it in there? Mm -hmm. When there's not stuff like citric acid. I use that to descale my kettle and it's in here. So it kind of makes you question why if they're... Anyway, it's gorgeous. It's lovely. Um, I love the packaging. Uh, this retails at 29.99. I found it in there for $19.99. Now, that's a good saving, yeah. but I don't think I would spend 20 quid on this. Again. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, uh, especially when there's other stuff out there. But I just wanted to try it out, and I got to try it out at a cheaper price. Does Tropic have citric acid in it? No. It doesn't? No. So why do they need to put it in there? I don't know. With the jarring dirty balance. We're, because we're really into good stuff, and like we've we're said trying. it a couple of times, we're trying to get stuff that's really good for our skin that has the least amount of bad products and chemicals in it. Because it's really important because your skin absorbs that stuff. A lot of stuff. We've spoken about it before in a video. Yeah. Um, but, but that's a really good saving yeah. if you're interested in it. Definitely. Um, we'll do uh, my skincare product next is um, a mask, a face mask, and it's by Milk Makeup, which I really like milk. I think they're really um, like, quirky and they're mm -hmm. cool and they've come out with some really good stuff um so this is a it's called urban defense mask it's a bit weird it's like quite um it's like a thick consistency but it's kind of it gets rid of like toxins it hydrates your skin and you only leave it on for like four minutes mm -hmm. three leave on for three to five minutes and it's kind of like it's it's like not oily but it kind of has that different texture it's not like a cream um and you leave it on and you just feel it kind of like a little bit tingling does it um, break you out? No, it doesn't Doesn't break me out. It's just like if you want like a quick detox in the morning or, you know, before you go to bed and you don't have 20 minutes to leave a face mask on. Yeah, show them the... Oh! It's kind of like gooey. It is goopy. Oh. Goopy goop. But it's, it is really nice. It, it smells doesn't... great. Is it? I yeah, I've used it. I think I've used it twice. I need to use it more, but Can I? yeah, it hasn't it hasn't broken me out um, at all, and it's really good. And that this is a really good saving. Mm -hmm. So um, they retail for oh god, I haven't got my glasses on. This mask retails for twenty two pounds, and I paid five ninety nine. So that's a good saving. That's, that's like fifteen, fifteen, sixteen pounds. Yeah, it's really so good. good. So. If you see that, I recommend getting it. It's a good little mask. Following on with our natural skincare theme, um, skincare does not just mean your face and you have to take care of your armpits. <laughs> so we are trying out natural deodorant from Tisserand. Um, we haven't tried it yet, so we can't say if, they're good if it works, but they do smell amazing. And they're only... And 
they're half the, not really half the price, but you know, they use essential oils as their thing, which is much better for you than perfume and synthetic fragrance. Um, we're only doing it based on one. Um, these retail for 5 75 and we got these for 2 99 each. So it's not major, but you could get basically two for the price of one. The next thing, um, keeping with the theme of essential oils and then the, ne the, the last stuff is makeup that yeah. we've got really next, isn't it? But um, so I'm really into um, like essential oils in with regards to like in the in the air and in the room and we've got um, the purple light at the back that's a, like a humidifier or a vaporizer and um, usually like we burn oils like you can get an oil burner with a candle and you light it up and it lets it out but I really think that they focus your mind and it really helps me when I'm working like if I'm mm. doing uni work and I sit there and I've got a nice smell it also helps with like relaxing unwinding yeah um, it's really important and the thing that we and I think you like it the most as well is that like some essential oils make the like it cleans the air it's like antibacterial and that's really good because that freaks me out that I think I'm breathing in bacteria I would like to know if people would like to see a cleaning products video because yes. I love cleaning uh, even more so now because of Mrs Hinge oh my god we love but her but I'd just like to show if anyone is interested, what yeah. we use to clean. Anyway, I got this collection of essential oils and usually they're quite pricey, like on their own, and it's Tisserand, the brand, the same brand as the deodorant. I've used them before and they're usually quite pricey, but um, because they're like, they're really good, they're organic natural oils. And then this is a set of six and um, you get some lovely flavors like lavender tea tree, which are the really good ones for, you know, purifying, cleaning the air. Then you get like lemon, orange. That's also, lemon they one. smell great. I've yeah. got one on in our little thing in the back but um they smell really good so you can use them in the bath you can use them in a vaporizer you can use them for massage, massage as well like yeah. if you mix them with a, a base oil kind of thing um so this was 27 pounds full price and it was 12.99 so i mean it is a lot but it's not a lot because you get six full usually price. usually they're like six quid each i think yeah. like you yeah. know, something they're quite expensive so really good recommend moving on now to makeup we don't have a lot of makeup because it's we can't... been a bit it's been a bit lacking isn't yeah it? i think maybe as it's becoming pop more popular mm. it goes as soon you've as... got to be in there at the right time yeah you basically got to be in there when they put the stock out yeah. otherwise it's gone. it's gone or swatched and then no one buys it which um, it really annoys me like why ruin it for everyone else but also they should just have testers this one beautiful uh pixie we love Pixie. It's um, wonderful stuff. Highlighters, Trio. Mm -hmm. This was £22. I don't think I paid £22. The only highlighter I pay for is Becca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, this was 22 and we paid 9 99 They are really pretty. I like the packaging. I think it's really cool. It looks like eco, like eco packaging. It's like a blusher, bronzer, highlighter. Yeah, but they're all subtle, they're, they're but all they're glittery. But like, I wouldn't personally use a glittery bronzer, but you might be able to use it as a shadow. Yeah, they're really nice. Um, so yeah, twenty two. We paid nine ninety nine. That's a really good saving. Half that is really anything, good. Anything, anything more over than half fifty percent. I think. It's great. I think like you know, if you can get something for half price, like that's fantastic. Yeah, if that's just a good saving no matter what. Yeah. Um. So. This one like was pretty incredible, I think. And if they ever have, they've actually, no, they've had subculture and- Yeah, but I think they had the dodgy batch. Oh. And it's like, do you spend- You don't want to risk it. Yeah, it's still quite a lot. So quite often they'll have some absolute gems in there with regards to brands. And this one you found and you called me and I was like, you have to get it because I, the original, I'll tell you the brand first. <laughs> uh, so Anastasia Beverly Hills, oh my God. The- Look at that. <gasps> <laughs> the Aurora palette which is just gorgeous oh. it's very like there are a couple of wearable ones in there but it's very like you could do eyeshadows of them, they're different you? they're really different <gasps> there's like blues and things like that and they're just stunning but um they the first glow kit I had was Anastasia Beverly Hills and I still have it because I can't throw it away even though I probably can't use it anymore I don't know where mine is um no the glow kit oh, oh yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah. Um, so ones. but they were stunning and Anastasia's always got really good highlighters um, but this is just like they are absolutely impeccable 
don't I mean like I probably never wear that one unless but then I think oh you could use it for like Halloween or you could use it Which for one? the blue yeah but you could do that on your eyes for like a fancy dress but I just love that it's like you know the names of them Luna, Orion yes. can we swatch um they're just gorge I don't really think we haven't got the light let here. me try the blue one um but that um retails because Anastasia is just a luxury brand um, so they are usually quite expensive and that Ooh. retails for 41 pounds which I bought the glow kit for that I would I would spend 41 pounds on this because I know that it's a good brand and it's a good product um, but this was only 19.99 19.99 amazing like I was really happy with yeah, that and it's worth it like I'd spend full price on Anastasia Beverly Hills but that is literally a barg <laughs> they have a lot of her stuff in there a lot of lipsticks a lot of blushes now makeup application um this is what for a Christmas present for me <laughs> um I've used it but I put it in the box so it looks pretty this <laughs> is the Real Techniques uh foundation brush the 301 and it is I don't use brush well I don't wear foundation anyway but I don't use brushes to put foundation on because I get worried about streaks yeah but there's there's a couple of new brushes that have like been coming out that are streak free and this is one of them it's gorgeous it's glittery it's oh, what more do you want <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> so that was uh I bought it for $4.99 and they retail for about like $12.99. I think they might go up in size usually, yes. but the one that, the price it had on the tag was $12.99 originally. I then for myself got a blusher brush which okay. has been used, but um it's the same thing. They're really they're really nice to hold. Yeah. Like they feel good. It feels like an artistic brush, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah. um they're obviously really aesthetically pleasing as well, but they're really good really good brushes so 4.99 we got them for and they're 12.99 a piece usually and i think actually the foundation brush might be a bit more because it usually like the size of them depends on the price but yeah this is the 302 blush brush 301 foundation fantastic i do that <clears throat> um so the last makeup product um just quickly is another milk product um it's the milk uh it's a shadow liner and I didn't really have like high expectations for this, but it's actually really good. Like if you don't have, um, you know, like usual uh, pencil, like coal eyeliners. Yeah. It's kind of like that, but it's like, it's an eyeshadow, but it's in like this. Um, it's flat. It's like a, yeah, in this stick form. And <laughs> your face. And uh, you just put it like, I like to use it for lining, like the top, my top lid, but and like doing underneath as well. And it's, really um it's spongy it is pigmented and you can like smudge then and it goes really nice and it's just really subtle really like milk products they always they have like always impressed me i don't i wouldn't pay 15 pounds for it which is what it is full price yeah you don't need to because pay. for a shadow liner like you can get cheaper ones that do the same thing but it is really nice and i only paid 3.99 for it so I pay three ninety nine for it because hello, that's really cheap. Mm. But um, yeah, it's quite a substantial saving there as well. So if you see that, pick it up. We are we're candle fanatics. Mm -hmm. We love candles. Um, this isn't skincare, obviously. This isn't makeup, but it's a saving and <laughs> it makes our lives. Happier. It's a really happier. good saving as well, and they're um, beautiful. We have got probably half of the flavors we've got a lot of candles we've got a lot of here. candles but they're really nice they you don't do. even need to burn them and what we've at what i've seen actually is they've got so they've got the tiny ones they've got these ones and they've got big oh. huge ones um this one limoncello flavored soy wax blend mm -hmm. uh 7.99 now these retail for about 22 pounds like on amazon you can see them for 22 yeah pounds. i think like they're probably they think they're like 25 dollars because they're an american company but um, they're in tk maxx for 7.99 and they're just they're amazing. gorgeous like, they last so long and they have really cute little lids like i really like mm. the lids um yeah i like they just look nice on a windowsill on a bookshelf in like a you know they add ambiance to the yeah. room and who doesn't like having ambiance when you're doing your makeup or your skincare i've only burnt one and the smell was just intensified and mm. it was gorgeous really nice um and they're really they're just really pretty yeah really pretty love them 
So yeah, yeah. That's so when we like, usually our first couple of ones just had makeup and skincare, but we want to just include everything because you can pick up everything in TK Maxx. Max. Like, it's incredible. So we will just include everything that we find yeah. because it's all it's all part of it. Let us know if you've seen any of these brands in your TK Maxx or if you've seen any different ones. Yeah, um, which which high end brands have you seen? Have you seen that we haven't mentioned? Yeah, because we're always on the hunt. I feel like always. Can, yeah, because like in a in. Um, like Jeffrey started a TJ Maxx one and he found like really he found different ones. Mm -hmm. he found different brands. We really want to find Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Yes, and now that's they the have, next one. They do have Physicians Formula in there, mm -hmm. but they don't have the bronzer. So, um that therefore Conclude. we spent <clears throat> da -da -da. Okay, so Full price, if we had paid full price for all of these products, it would have been £210.67. Never. Never. Like, that's insane. That's that's like, that's, that's, that's the price bills. of my car, like, yeah. yeah. Um, so, all together, so this was, over, this again, this wasn't like all at once, we're not saying go to Tika Max and buy everything at once. This was over several months, like we've had, we, we just accumulate stuff every time we go, but we don't go in all the time, but. I do. Well, yeah, but we don't buy, we window shop. Yeah. Um, you like suss it out first, you know. Be tactical with what you what you want to buy, like what you think you need. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we spent ninety four pounds ninety in total. So that means that we saved a hundred and sixteen pounds and seventy seven pence. That's brilliant. So it's not that doesn't trump our last one. We spent hundred. We saved one hundred and fifty last time, but I still think that's really impressive. Like yeah. if I saving a hundred pounds instead of like that's literally you imagine more if than we half. Pay full price for that. I know. Like I'd feel really guilty if yeah, I spent that much can't, money. Yeah, we can't justify spending that no. amount of money on things, and that's why TK Maxx is so good. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry we have been so distant. <laughs> we hope uh, we're going to be, you know, getting back into this. So um, we hope you enjoyed watching. Please stay tuned for more and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more TK Maxx videos and, and anything in general, really. Yeah. We're just generalists. <laughs> We're just generalists. No, but um, leave a comment, like we said, like chat to us. We like to hear about we love, yeah. what other people find in these stores because we, we loved it. We, we loved it. We love it. We're, we like being thrifty. We like saving money. Like who doesn't? Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks so much. See you next time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>